Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a wiffle ball watercolor scrunch. So I'm using the over the sink strainer, five wiffle balls, and a Port and Company Essential Tea. They're pretty heavy duty and thick. It might be just a tad too big for the over the sink strainer, but I'm gonna make it work. So I'm just gonna scrunch up my shirt, put it around the wiffle balls. That's what's going to create the flowery pattern. And I like to just try to give the tops of each wiffle ball like a little twist like lemon meringue. So basically you want tall, deep scrunches. I have some really exciting news for my special viewers. So if you go over to boredomwithjen.com and you type in Belladonna, that is the coupon code until Halloween. And it's going to get you 10% off in her shop. So head over there and get yourself a sinew polar and matching caddy and anything else that Jen is creating. She creates all kinds of super cool tie-dye tools. Now I'm adding my ice because this is going to be the dye over ice method. So when you see it abbreviated in the Facebook group, D-O-I, that stands for dye over ice. And I like to add enough ice to where I don't see any of the fabric showing through. This is the first in the series of the zombie colors that Dharma is promoting right now. And if you're not able to get your hands on them through Dharma because they're going to sell out lightning quick again on Monday, um, you can go over to Tie-Dye Supplies Marketplace and there are a lot of wonderful people in there that are selling these colors. And I do have a link for the marketplace down below in the description box along with everything that I use for tie-dye. So make sure that you check that out. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and I set it aside to batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours. That looks pretty dark and scary, doesn't it? I have to admit, I was freaking out a little bit, but have you guys heard the saying, don't cry until it's dry? It's so true because the project will look completely different after it's washed out, dried, and ironed. So now for the rinse out, you wanna start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I like to do hot water cycles using Kirillon. And then I like to do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And you will find the links down below in the description box, like I had mentioned to help you find these items that I've used. Then I will put it in the dryer and I will iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our wiffle ball watercolor scrunch after it's been washed and dried and ironed. And I think it turned out beautiful. And I'm sorry I don't have a full picture of the back of the shirt like I normally do. My sister came over to pick it up. It was really late at night. She needed to go to bed to catch an early flight and I was talking to her and distracted. So I took a lot of close-ups of the back of the shirt but forgot to take the whole picture of the back of the shirt. But it looked exactly like the front of the shirt. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at how gorgeous this color is. And I can understand why they call it Stormageddon because it has these really dark tones and then it breaks down into these beautiful soft tones as well. I see purples, I see grays, I see blues, I see golds, I see greens. I see like every color there is. I love this color and I'm definitely going to use it a whole bunch more. I mean, just look at how beautiful that is. So what do you guys think of Stormageddon? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!